Greetings noobs. What we're going to be talking about today is we're going to be looking at crafting armor for your other tunes. This of course is Pime. She's my level 75 sorceress and she's a synth weaver. Now I just created a new tune today and he is a Jedi Sentinel. So we're going to craft some armor for him. He's still level 1. He can't use the armor. The Shadow Silk Force Expert is what we're going to craft until he hits level 10. And we're also going to bang out, I think, a set of the Lasha Silk Force Expert armor for him also. Now the question is, is it worth it to make armor for your tunes? And I'm going to say at the lower levels, it appears to be so. As you go up in levels, maybe not so much. So let me get this going because we're going to do this is all going to happen in real time. And I'm going to talk about other stuff along the way. Now I'm going to use Kim to do my crafting because he's got a 48% critical. My next highest character here is Shay. She's got a 39% critical. I'm also going to remember I'm going to hit my thingy bobber up here. I get this from my guild. This gives me a additional 5% critical on crew skills for an hour. Now, I wonder, I, you know, and I'm figuring all this stuff out too. I'm not really sure how I know that. Cause so right now we see Kim, he's got 48% critical. So let's go ahead and hit that. Oh, you know what else? I, should I do this? We don't have time. Well, we do have time, but we don't have time. But it's broken. See, here's the thing. So this is what I saw on the forums. Like here, my lightsaber, you'll see that it gives me my amplifier. You'll see the amplifier is a plus seven critical synth weaving. But apparently from what I've read on the forums, these don't actually work. And as much as I love this game, I wish the f effing, I, I am gonna curse in these videos, by the way, I'm not gonna do it a lot but it's gonna happen so if f-bombs offend you tough all right so whoop, wrong button so Kim's got the plus 48 critical hold on I'm looking for an ink pen just so I can write this down all right so plus 48 critical now we're getting a plus seven critical for my lightsaber. So if I unequip my lightsaber, in theory, when we bring this up, he's still got a 48% critical. See, so that plus seven on my critical, it is not doing anything. The plus seven critical on my lightsaber, it's not factoring in. And as we speak right now, as I record this video, the update to the game that was going to add in the new amplifier system and all this other stuff is delayed because of the snow blah 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 but it's like the programmers of this game need to be fixing stuff like that instead of adding things that people aren't interested in anyhow that was an aside and a rant because programmers how about you fix the things people care about all right anyway let's stop whining like little babies and let's do some crafting so we got Kim and adaptive armor and we're gonna sort it by level just to make it easier and this thing doesn't remember your last sorting option which is also really annoying we are making shadow silk force expert vestments now again this is for newbies so if you're new around here you may be wondering what's because you got shadow silk well um, hold on let me get this going craft because we can Lying talk. Oof, Jal of Jardins. Well, he's crafting. So here's some stuff you may not know. Each person can have five things in their crafting queue. You can selectively cancel something. So that, that right there, that's the lower robes. If I want to cancel him crafting the lower robes, I just right click on that and it cancels the lower robes and you get your resources back. Now I'm going to put the Laura Robes back into the queue. All right, so what's the difference between Force Experts and Aegis, or a Aegis, or however you pronounce it? Okay, if we look at the Force Expert Vestments and we look at the stats, you'll see 
20, 125 armor, 15 mastery, 17 endurance, 7 power, and 7 critical. So your power and your critical are offensive. If we look at the Aegeus vestments, you're going to see it's got your armor and your mastery and your endurance, and then it's got absorption and it's got defense. So the Aegeus vestments, the Aegeus armor sets, and you'll see that's the way it is all the way up through here. You got so the purples, in case you don't know this, the purples are the reverse engineered advanced versions. I'll talk about those some other time. They're, they're not necessarily worth delving into. You'll see I got a lot of them, but that's because you know, this is my first character. I was learning. I was doing a lot of stuff. I was spending a lot of credits. I was figuring all this stuff out. I'm going to do a video on reverse engineering. So here you'll see the Lasha. You've got the Force Expert and the Aegeus, and then the Draman, Dramanus, or whatever, Force Expert Aegeus, the Sept Silk, Force Expert, blah, 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 blah. You'll see that's pretty much the pattern, Hypercloth, Force Expert, and Aegeus. Until we get to here, we got Defiant, Onslaught, Mender, Asylum, so it's a little different there. Blah, 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 Aegeus, Force Experts. So basically, the Force Expert armor set is if you're trying to make a character or you're making a character you're not trying because Yoda told us there's no such thing as trying if your character if you're doing in a character that's more offensive right if you want to beef up the character's offensive abilities do the force expert if you want to beef up their defensive capabilities do the Aegeus now you can also influence this with your augments and we'll do some augments in this depending on how things come out so i have got one of the reasons i'm using kim to do this with his cr critical rate is because if he gets a critical success while crafting these items they will come out augmented and that did not happen on the first one now the other day I did a set, and I have the math on this, so we're actually going to talk about this. I did a set of, what happened here? Oh, I'm an inventor. I did a set of the Vine Silk Force Expert. Let's zap up here real quick and find out, because I'm trying to remember what level that is. It's not here. It should be 50-something. Or am I on, I could be stupid. Wouldn't be the first time. Where's fine so oh 40. Only 40? Who did I make this for? Uh oh! I know why. Okay, because I, I was thinking about the wrong tune. So I made a set of the Fine Silk Force Experts. And all seven of that does hold on, that doesn't sound right. I could be an idiot. Where's my notes? They're in the other room, of course. See, here's another thing. We, and now we got to go back to sorting by level because it doesn't remember the last thing. And I want to do... I need... What do we need? We got that going on. The gloves. So we need the bracers. And then we need the boots. Don't be that way soon. Great. All right. Now let's have a look. These are turning up over here. Not augmented. That's augmented. That's not augmented. All right. So, so far we got one augmented item. And we will... So here's another. Here's another bug. So that's a crafting material. When I hit this button, the crafting material is supposed to go into my crafting cache, but it doesn't. So I got to open that and then right click on that in order to put it in there. Thank you. Great. It's okay. I have lots of time here. All right. Let me look at something real quick. Was this it? We don't argue. Yeah, we don't argument 21. Okay. 
augment. And I gotta go back to sorting by level, cause God forbid we remember 42. Okay, adaptive armor, level 40. All right, so it was fine silk. For some reason, I just, I'm confused. You'll get used to that on these videos. All right, so I crafted a set of Vine Silk Force Expert. All seven components came out augmented. So I made six augments, and he hit a critical on all six augments, which means I got 12 augments for the price of six. So here's where I'm going with this. So that's a level 40 set of armor. The total cost, and I'll put, there'll be a blog post, and I'll put all these numbers in it. There'll be a link for this in the notes for this video. So the total cost of making the seven pieces, the Vine Silk Force Expert, and then the six augments, which actually turned into 12 augments, the total cost to me was 60,444 credits. Now, that's, those numbers are based on numbers I've got. I go out, I do the gathering missions, I keep track of how many items I get from each mission, right? You know, I average it out, I do the math, I divide it by the cost of the mission. It, it's just simple math. Now, you can reduce that cost, of course, by gathering, especially at lower levels, like for this armor, we are using, uh, nope, oh, I just bonded attachments, so we're using the Rubat, so we got Rubat Crystal and Lost Artifact Fragments, and then for the next one we got the Sacred Artifact and the next tour. You can find this stuff all over the place on the beginner planets when you're running around and you can harvest it. You can also, of course, get this from your stronghold decor. Now just real quick, we'll take a look at this. You'll see what I got here. Here's my archeology span decorations. Over here, this is my grade one. This is my grade two, my grade three, my grade four, my grade five, Grade six, I don't have the green, uh, the blue one yet for grade six. Over here is this, and these are grade seven, and this crystal here is grade eight. As far as I know, that's as far as you can get. But, I mean, if you harvest, whether it's from your stronghold or whether it's on the planet, you can get a lot of the stuff you're going to need for the armor for free. I'm going to come over here right now, and I'm going to snag some resources and this is going to reduce the cost I wrote this down somewhere I don't have it it'll be in the show notes and we're not we did not exhaust our resources so if you don't know this when your resources get exhausted you'll see a little icon down here telling you the resources are exhausted so you see I got five next to our crystals four sacred artifact fragments and four green genius crystals. I'd have to pay for that. It was all free. There it is. Now my resources are exhausted. I got another six red crystals. I got another five next to our crystals. I got five sacred artifacts. So as you're running around, do your harvesting. And again, for your lower level stuff, you should end up with crap tons of resources. So it shouldn't cost you a heck of a lot. All right, let me see where we're at here. He's building the last thing. How did we do here? We got one augmented, not augmented, not augmented, augmented, not augmented. So, so far we got four augmented items out of six. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll make some augments. Let's look ahead here. So what kind of augments do I want to make? We got to sort by level. So this is character is going to be level 10. We can use this armor, so we're going to do the level 10. So we've got these. Altracity, critical, 
and this adds to defense. Now again, as you get up in levels, I think the augments maybe become worth it less and less, but down here, this is costing me virtually nothing. So I got to make some more Rubat synth bonded attachments though, because I'm out of those. Now, when you're doing your when you're doing your bonded attachments, if you get a critical, you will get two bonded attachments for the price of one. So we're going to throw four in there. We're going to have him craft four of these things. We'll see if we get any criticals along the way. Now, while that's happened, let's go back to our vine silk. So the vine silk, all that stuff, right? That full set of armor plus the augments. I forgot how fast these things go. Let's make it five. So, right there, crafted Rubat Synth Bonded Attachment times two with great success. So I got two for the price of one. Right, so we're already reducing the cost of our armor. There we go. Uh, two for the price of one. Right, so the price of the armor that I'm going to give you in the show notes is assuming you're paying full cost for everything. If you're harvesting for free, and then if you're doing your synth bond attachments and you're getting criticals and doubling up on those, all of this stuff is serving to reduce your cost. I'm going to put two more of those in the queue. Also, did these boots come out? Oh, great success again. So we're up to seven. And yes, those are augmented. So we got five out of seven. So we need to make five augments. Well, we don't need to do anything, but we're going to make five augments for this shadow silk. So I'm just making a note here. For myself. All right. What augments do we want to make? I tend to play my characters. I like to focus more on being offensive than defensive. That's a defense rating. I got five slots. That's a critical rating. Ultracity. I never remember what does Ultracity do. Increase the speed at which... Okay, yes. So here's what I'm going to do. I want two of these. I want two Ultracities, two Criticals, and one Redoubt. So... And out of those Synth Bonded Attachments, one, two, three, four, five of them were double. So I got five of those for free. Alright, we're going to make two of these. One, two. We're going to make two of these. One, two. And we are going to make one of these. So that's what I got going on. We'll see if we get any criticals along the way there. So now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mail this set of armor off to the uh, character who's going to use it. Now, you, so Pime, cannot put the augments into the armor for Kenosha. Kenosha has to do it himself because when you put the augments into your armor, it bonds them to you. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that's all the pieces. Great. Kenosha. All right, send. There's his armor. We're going to get those out of here. While we're here, schematics. So these are some schematics. I just got some run, running some missions. If you don't know this, schematics are what you use. And if you're watching this video, you're probably a noob. So maybe you don't know this. That's why I'm telling you. Schematics, all of these things right here, these are all you know, schematics are what lets you build all this stuff. So when you get a schematic that you can use, it'll be like this. If you get a schematic you can't use, it will be low lighted as opposed to high lighted or whatever. If you use the schematics by right clicking on them and you will learn the schematic. If you already know a schematic, it will tell you you already know the schematic so that you're not learning something twice. Then you can take that schematic and sell it. Now this is an armor mech schematic which I don't have armor mech, but one of my other tunes does. 
So I am going to send that to him, send that over to Stan Kelly, and he can manufacture that because I cannot. So now here's the thing about schematics. If you just click on the schematic and you're not paying attention, it doesn't really tell you that you've where it has appeared in your list of things, right? So like look at if you look at me, I've got a whole bunch of bloody schematics. I have all kinds of things that I can make. So when I add something to this, it, it gets lost, right? In all of this. So before you click on a schematic, the first thing you can do is you can do, you can preview it, the control and the left click, and this is that belt right there. You can also preview this thing, which is actually kind of cool. I don't hate that. But if you mouse over it, you see this requires heavy armor. My sorceress doesn't have heavy armor, so she can't wear this. Though she can certainly make it and send it to somebody else or sell it. And I'll do a video about selling things on the market as well. And we'll talk about that a little bit in this video, actually. All right, there's two of my... Damn, I'm not getting any criticals today, hardly, it seems like. Schematic. And it'll tell you, you'll see up there, it says it requires synth weaving 100. Sometimes you just don't have the required level yet to use the schematic. So hang on to that schematic till you hit that level, then you can learn it. All right, so in order to know where this is going to go, we need to look at this and we'll see that it requires medium armor. See that down at the bottom in red, right? It's level 19, medium armor. It's Marauder's Waste Cord. So you remember all that. You right click on it, medium armor, marauder's waist cord. You learn the schematic, but then if you go over here, it's like, oh, well, but, but where is it? You don't really know unless you remember, oh, it's in medium armor. And it's called the marauder's waist cord. It was a level 10. I remember, wait, where is it? See, it's not even there, which means maybe Archive, Marauder's Waste Card. No. Yeah, that was it. I thought it said it was low. I'm glad I'm making a video. I'll have to go back and look. So there it is. It's not even in medium armor. It's in Archive. Why? Hold on. Is it because I'm sorting by level? That's weird. There... There's a lot of bugs in the crafting system, okay? There's, there's a lot of little bugs in here. So here we got, this is heavy armor. This is the fortified Electrum chest guard. You'll see this one requires synth weaving 400. All right, so it's level 50 heavy armor, fortified chest guard. Level 50 heavy armor. All right, we learned it. Let's see if we can find it. Heavy armor, f uh, fortified electrum chest guard. There it is. Level 50, sure enough. So if you just have a bunch of schematics and you start clicking on them, they're going to go in there. You're not going to go where, nope, they're back. You're not going to know where they are. And you say, well, am I ever going to have a bunch of schematics? Well, I mean, you might, because I ran missions the other day, and I got all these schematics right here that I have not yet learned. This is a schematic, too. It's just a different icon. Right, so if I just blow through here and I right-click on all of these things without paying much attention, I'm going to have pretty much no idea what I've learned. Now, yes, it does tell you over here that, for example, uh, you've learned schematic Marauder's Waste Cord. That would be more useful if I could come in here and somehow search for Marauder, right? So you can sort based on these things like this, but you can't do a search. I can't like type in somewhere the word Marauder and it shows me everything I can craft that has the word Marauder in it. That's, there's another little opportunity 
for improvement. By the way, you'll also notice that even though I clicked on this and I've got my plus five critical, you'll notice that Kim's critical rate didn't go up by five. It's still 48. So none of these crafting criticals that you can get appear to work. All right, so he did craft the critical augment with great success. So I got two for the price of one on that one. So I got one extra augment so far. So we're doing all right. Now, if I didn't say this already, because I'm bouncing all over the place here, I know that. Welcome to my world. This is how these videos will be. Very uh, stream of consciousness and making things up. Shadow Silk Force Expert. As I calculated this out, the total cost of making the seven sets, the seven sets, the armor set of seven pieces, and if all seven pieces had augmentation slots, if you made seven augments, the total cost for all of that is merely a whopping 10,512 credits. That's yeah, not a lot of credits. Not. Definitely worth it. All right, times two on that. So I now have two augments more than I need for that character to use. So what you do, well, what I do, obviously you just save the augments. You can use them somewhere else. Or you could take those augments and you can sell them on the trade market, which we'll talk about again in a minute. All right, now... I'm going to go ahead and whip out a set of the Lasha Silk Force Expert for the same character and send it to him so that when he hits the appropriate level, he can just go ahead and start using that armor as well. Now, this also raises the question, is doing, right, is this worth it or can the character find armor that's better than what I'm selling, right? So again, is this worth the time and the money? My experience so far... I have, I've got going one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven characters, seven tunes. And I have now my two oldest tunes. Pime is my first tune. She's a synth weaver. Stan Callie is my next oldest tune. And he is a armor mech. And while I'm standing here running my mouth, let me get Kim crafting. Sash. Because... There's no reason for him to be idle while I'm blabbing on and on and on like a broken record. Nine Actually, of Jardins. for you guys who don't know anything about records, broken records don't go on and on and on. That's uh, scratched records that go on and on and on. A broken record doesn't play at all. All right. I have been crafting armor now for four of my characters. And I can tell you, I send them the armor, and as soon as they hit the level where they can use it, I put that armor on them. And as you know, you probably know at least this much by now, even if you're a noob. As you're running around the game, when you find some armor that's better than what you've got, right, it shows you a little green arrow on the icon there, and you can upgrade. I'm outfitting these four tunes with armor that I'm making, and their levels, where are we at? So, Ale Aller, he's at 36. Faye is at 35, Tay is at 57, and K is at 26. And I am almost never finding armor that has better stats than the armor that they're wearing. So as far as, like, are the stats of the armor you can craft for your own characters worth it as compared to the armor you're going to find in the field? My experience so far is that yes, especially you know at the lower levels, because like here, we got 16. We can use this armor at level 16. We don't. He can't get a new armor until level 24. So if he puts this stuff on, if he puts on the Lash of Force, Force Expert at level 16, he's not going to find armor better than that until maybe he gets up to around level 22, 23. Then he might occasionally find a piece here or there that's better than what he's got by a little bit. Right, so in that sense, in the sense of what does it do for your stats, it's definitely worth it so far in my experience. 
Now, I don't know how much this affects things. I'm also playing the game in... Oh, um, Pime is in Master Mode. I'm playing most of my characters in Veteran. I started off in Story, and I upped it to Veteran, and I gotta say, it's not that much harder. I started in Story because I'm a noob and I suck at video games. So I don't know if the mode you're in has any kind of effect on the armor you find or not, but I'm just throwing that in so that you know what's going on there. All right, he's doing that. Next thing we're going to need is bracers. I can put that in his queue. And you know what? We're having terrible luck today just to speed things along. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put Shay on the boots. Because... If you're here, you might be a noob, so you can have all of your tunes. Now, this is interesting, too. I don't know if there's a bug or what. On some of my characters up here, it'll tell me max number of deployable companions, and it'll have a number. On Pime, it doesn't tell me. So I don't know what's up with that, but I can have all four companions doing crafting. So I can go through this a heck of a lot faster. I said the only reason I'm doing what I'm doing is because Kim has the highest critical and I'm trying to get as many criticals as I can get away with here. All right. The Lash of Force Expert, which I was just looking at it. What level is this? Adaptive armor. 16, right? Yes, so this is level 16. Let me write that down on my notes. The Lash of Silk Force Expert Armor, if all seven pieces come... So, well, the armor itself cost 21,724 credits. If all seven pieces had augmentation slots that are ready to go and I built augments, seven augments would cost 10,860 credits. So if I had the full armor set, seven pieces, all seven of them are augmented, the full cost of that would be 32,000 credits, 580. 32,580 credits. Still not bad. All right, now the Vine Silk Force Expert that I was telling you, where I made the whole set, everything was augmented, I made six augments, got criticals on all of them, so I had twice as many augments, I took the augments I did not need, so that the total cost on that, once again, assuming I didn't get anything from harvesting and thus cost me less, assuming I paid full cost, was 60,444. I took my extra augments and I put them on the GTN and sold them. So there's one right there. So I made 54,000 credits on that. So there we are. I am right now. I paid $60,000 for the armor. I just made $54,000 on the armor. The armor at this point has cost me $6 credits. 6,000 credits. Okay. Here's my other augment. Right here, I have just made a profit of what uh, 48,000 like credits. Hey, and those are a great success, those are augmented. So my Vine Silk Force Expert armor, as of this moment, did not cost me any credits whatsoever. It has made me $48,000. And my character is wearing it. And now I just made another 54,000 credits. And my character is wearing the armor. And I just made another 54,000 credits. And one of my tunes is wearing the armor. And right here, I just made 54,000 credits. And my tune is wearing the armor. So the question is, how much did it cost me to make this set of armor for my tune and the answer is it cost me a profit of 210 approximately 210 thousand credits i got paid 210 thousand credits to make a set of armor that my tune is wearing is financially speaking 
crafting armor for your own tunes worth it? The answer is yes. Sometimes, depending on how you crit, right? Depending on your criticals, it can be very worth it. So my vestments are augmented. Sash is not. My boots are augmented. Rabs are not. So, so far, we're 50% rolling augments here. And it's a good thing we made money because, as you can see here, these transaction completes things. Pime, okay, Pime has a shopping problem. She really likes to buy clothes. She spends a lot of money on clothes. And on that particular day, she spent quite a bit of money on clothes. She, she, she needs to be making a profit because she's got to cover all that. I've, told, I've tried talking to her. I've said, girlfriend, you got to... You got to tone down. Look, I mean, hold on. Let me show you guys. Look. Look at her closet. Dude, look, look. Who needs, who needs that much clothing? I mean, look at all these boots. Who needs, who needs this many boots? Who? I mean, this is absurd. I just there. I mean, look, look, who, look at all these clothes. Who needs this? So anyhow, she's got a problem and she's got to make money to support her habit. What we're gonna do right now, we need to mail, we gotta make some room in the inventory because we got all this stuff in here. Let me send this stuff off to uh, Kenosha. All right, so let me send him some augments. I need to send him, what was it? It was five, right? Yeah, five augments. So that's an ultracity, a critical, a critical, ultracity, and a Defense. All right, send those to him. Bam. So these two right here are leftovers. And if you don't know how augments work, I'm going to do a video on augments because augments were something I only recently played with for the first time. And I mean, they're not complicated, but again, I discovered things such as Pime cannot put the augment in the armor and then send the armor to Tay. Pime has to send the armor to Tay, and then send the augments to Tay, and Tay has to put the augment in the armor herself. That's how the, the uh, what do you call it, the bound, the bonding thing works. All right. Meanwhile, back at the farm. Oh, expert, yes, great success. Fantastic, so that's augmented. So right now we got three augmented and two not. So we're going to need to build some augments here. Let's start having a look at what is available to us. Rating. Augments. Now, you'll also notice... what? Oh, not rating. Rating is different than level. You will notice... That this armor that we're making, the... The Lasha Silk Force Expert is level, not rating, level 16, there are no 16 augments, but there are 18 augments. So this just means that he can't actually put the augment in the armor until he gets to level 18, at which point then you can add it. So, and I think we've got the same thing. All of this really follows a pattern. Again, when I first looked at crafting, it seemed way more complicated than it is. You will see after a while that there is a definite pattern to everything that's going on here, pretty much. Especially, at least, like on the standard stuff. Okay, on this kind of obscure stuff, like here, the light armor items. Okay, not so much. But with your, with your strongholds and conquest thing, you know, there's a pattern, there's a system. With the bonded attachments, there's a pattern and a system. With the armorings which I have not messed with very much either. There's a pattern and there's a system. Uh, with the adaptive armor, there's definitely a pattern and a system. So you'll see that as you go through this. So again, we know that the redoubt is going to be defensive. You'll see now we not just have defense rating, we also have power. The critical is going to be offensive. It's got endurance and critical. And the altracity is going to be offensive. It's got endurance and altracity. So we are going to focus on offense. Again, so what, where are we at? We got, that's augmented. 
That's augmented. That's not augmented. Ah, oh, yes, the gloves are augmented. Boots are augmented. And the lower robe is not augmented. So, so far we got four things that are augmented. So I'm going to have him, not Shay, I'm going to have Kim. I'm going to do two of those. And I'm going to do two of those. And as you can see over here, I can make 55 of these bloody things. I got resources out the wazoo. Let us... Let's see, what else do I need to talk about while this is happening? You know, I might have... I might have run my mouth out sufficiently. All right, you know what? Let's do this. Let's take these. Let's go see what we can get for those on the market. We'll leave that open for the moment. Now, if you don't know about this stuff, I learned this fairly recently. If you got something over here in your inventory, you can hold down the shift button and left click on that item and it will appear over here in the search and then you can search for it and let's see those are the advanced ones nobody's selling a critical augment 5 which I'm not too surprised because see these are pretty low I'm, I'm not expecting to be able to get a lot for this quite honestly Here's the thing though, they're nowhere on the market. Now, got something in your inventory you want to sell. If you just right click on the item you want to sell, it will automatically go into the sell window. I'm going to turn my duration up to three days. What am I going to try to get for this? Let, let's recoup my cost. Once again, so that entire set of armor, everything I mean, that cost me 10,000 credits. Let's just do 10,000. Now, the, they'll take out their share and everything, but it'll be close enough. 10,000 credits there. And let me do 10,000 credits on that. So even if I sell one of those, I pretty much got that entire set of armor for free. And I actually made a profit because I've been harvesting so many crystals and so many artifact fragments that I got all the crystals and artifact fragments for nothing. All right, and this last piece, where'd it go? Those did not, the bracers did not get augmented. So I got four items that are augmentable. Kim's working on creating those, so that's fantastic. I'm gonna take this armor set and I'm going to dismiss oh, yeah. Shay so that she's not bouncing around all over the place. Another, yeah, here's another thing they need to fix in the game. It'd be nice if you could dismiss your companion and they would stay gone until you want them to come back. Because having to constantly dismiss the companion gets to be old after a while. All right. Kenosha, be sure you don't accidentally email things to people that aren't your character that could always happen all right let's send this set of armor off to him everything looks good there yep bye bye also need to go ahead and send him some money 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 cash money yes oh we're getting a little low by the way, speaking of clothing problem, who who needs this many boots? I mean, look look at all this clothes. Now, granted, she does does have a whole bay here of weapons and shields, and uh, then medical supplies. Like, I mean, what a drug addict! I mean, th this is her medicine cabinet. Look at all that dope, and these are all companion gifts. Because Pime is also a very generous person. I mean, for a Sith sorceress who goes around killing people on a regular basis, she's very generous. All right, anyway, I also need to send to my new character a million dollars. So I'm going to withdraw the money. Getting a little low. See, I got to do some crap. I'm going to do another video where I talk about 
making money with crafting. Again, based on my noob ass experience, I've done pretty good. Now, I don't really know what to compare it to. I don't know what other people make on crafting, but I have numbers. That's the thing. I have numbers, so I will give you some numbers. I've done fairly decent crafting stuff and selling it for money. I'm I'm below right now because I don't know, probably because somebody, we won't mention any names, Pime, went on a shopping spree the other day and bought a bunch of clothes. Again, uh, clothes, look, look at all, transaction complete, transaction complete, trans close, 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 close. Somebody went shopping for clothing. And somebody needs to clean out their closet. All right. Once again, to make really sure you're sending to the right person when you are sending a million credits. Send credits. Cash money, baby. Now, just in case you're wondering why I'm sending my new tune, because we got some time here, I'll talk about that. Why am I sending money to my new tune? Because what I'm going to buy with that is, you're going to go into your legacy, this has nothing to do with crafting. Well, it actually does, kind of. I'm going to go into my legacy, character perks, and what I'm going to buy for my new tune is, my new tune does crafting. He's going to be a crafter. So here, you got your altruism this increases companion influence blah 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 I'm gonna buy all three of those this increases companion influence gained by conversations uh, this is gained from gifts this is gained from conversations this increases in theory if it works the chance of augmented results when you're crafting so with the new tune I'm gonna buy all this stuff up to full and then these are your improved experience points for exploration, improved experience points for missions, and improved experience points for flashpoints. I'm going to buy all three of those up for my new tune also so that he's getting maximum experience points and I actually need to buy that for Pime. I don't and 100 yes, I'm just going to buy that also. There we go. Now she's up to speed also. So that's why I'm sending him over a million dollars, because that will cover the cost of all of that. Then you'll still have some stuff left. And hey, look, I'm getting stuff with great success. So I got Altracity, 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 Altracity. So I've already got two, or rather I got four for the price of two so far. And we are burning right along here. I really could probably just end this video now trying to think if there's anything else I need to throw in because so I mean we'll see what happens here with the criticals I will send four of these augments over to Kenosha for using in that set of armor the other ones I will put on the market and sell and I'll probably put them on the market and sell them for about oh probably 20k each so if I sell a couple of those, that will recoup the cost of that set of armor. So in conclusion, especially at lower levels, crafting armor for your own tunes can definitely be worth it. That's it. I'm going to sign off for now. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you noobs on the other side.